Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be working with Cartoon Animator 5. Okay, so we've gone ahead and selected a scene here by double clicking on the scene. I've gone ahead and selected a park bench and park. And I just wanted to show you by shrinking the scene down a little bit. This red border that's the actual what you're going to see in the camera when um, when it renders and then here you can see that if you click on the scene list here I've turned on the highlighter uh, you can unclick all of those and see how these are layered into the scene So you can have these on or off, or put different backgrounds in, different things. You can change the scenes around. But I pretty much stick to what comes with it. I'm pretty new at this. Okay. We'll go ahead and uh, select an actor, and we'll put an actor out onto the stage. Yeah, size him up. Okay, and then uh, in a few minutes we'll go in and we'll make a couple conversions here to take off his hat and his glasses. So if you're on the very first frame and you move him around, he doesn't make a little path. But if you move him forward on the timeline and then move him, then you're going to have him follow that path that you just saw. Which is great. We already have a direction that we're going to head him kind of towards the bench. And then he'll walk off the scene here. So now we're going to go and we're going to go into the templates and we're going to find a motion. And we'll give him a walking motion. And let's go ahead and repeat that. Okay, got keep adding a couple more of those. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll get him walking off the scene here. All right. Take a look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. At this point we're going to go ahead and open up the sprite editor and we go ahead and remove his hat. You can see how easy this is. Just click on any object up above and if you click the empty space below then that object will disappear off the character. And if you ever want to put them back on you just reverse this process. Okay, 
So now we've made a couple changes here to our actor. Now we'll work on his head motions a little bit by using the face editor. And I like to just move him a little bit down the timeline and then make a little adjustment then move them a little more and then what happens is it ends up blending the motions which makes it look pretty natural that looks good All right, good. So now we can open up the timeline, click on this uh, second button here, and it reduces it down to just the actor that's highlighted, which is really convenient for finding the track that you want to be working on. So I've gone ahead and moved the red stop so that we're only going to record just what's between the two red icons. Save that. All right, here we go. So now we're going to go ahead and just uh, set up the, for uh, rendering the clip and put it into the MP4. And we always want the 1080i setting when we're doing this widescreen. And just make sure that the frames that we want to export are there, which is correct. Now give the movie a, a name. And since this is going to, we're building this for Hound Dog News, and this is actually going to be part of the episode uh, you get to be a part of. This will be episode three. And we'll be sure to go to CapCut, and, and you can see how that builds into the movie. This is a work in progress. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, uh, let's give this a moment here. Okay, we'll set up here to edit the hand sprite. Uh, his hand flipped over a few times when we put in the walk cycles. So we'll fix that. Okay, here we're going to start working on the flipping the hand over and what happens when you're uh, putting in a, a walk cycle is everywhere each time the walk cycle starts um, for some reason it flips the sprite of the hands or some of the sprites over um, and it's pretty easy to go in and, and change it. Um, we do this about six times here um, and while I was doing this I was so busy just watching the hand that I wasn't paying attention to the timeline below and you'll notice that those diamonds there all we had to do is line up with the diamonds um, I'm watching the hand and I'm pushing the arrow key here and looking for exactly the frame where the hand flipped back Okay, but if you look down below on the timeline there, you'll see those three diamonds, and there goes the fourth diamond right there as I added the the movement to the hand. Okay, so each time we just go line up with those dots. I could have done this really quick, but I was kind of being silly here and and watching the hand rather than the timeline. So when you do it, you can know that all you have to do is line up there. 
make your adjustment, flip the hand, you're done. So pretty much it's just deciding what uh, position you want the hands to be in depending on the character and the scene that you're creating. You have a lot of choices. We're just going with a relaxed hand. Okay, I think that's uh, about it for that stage. Now we'll save our work and move on. Now let's go ahead and, and start with this. I've changed the hand position as you saw. And, uh, last night I went ahead and worked on the park bench. So I'm going to just take you uh, to where we were. Park bench was sitting uh, somewhere about here when we started this project. Okay. And so I've come in <clears throat> and I'll highlight the bench. Sometimes you can't highlight it on the screen. You just come over here where get it unstuck. Okay, and my mouse movements, let me explain this really quick. When I click, it turns green. If I double click, you'll see two green flashes, and right clicking is blue. Okay, and so when you see me click on something, you see a green flash. On now, I'm going to hold this, the left mouse down and click. So you'll see the green maintain itself go out of the scene through the pictures boom there we are and now I just need to make this rolling the mouse here okay now we'll make the bench smaller put it back there and it'll fit nicely into the background cool all right let's play this clip and see what we look like Okay, that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's put some eye movements into this guy now. All right, we're going to roll back to the beginning. And as you see, we've already put in that head movement last time. Yeah. <laughs> 